So today we have got the new Milwaukee fencing stapler. Yes, it is new out this year and we're one of the first to try it. We're gonna see what the f -f fuss is all about. And I say that because it's called the FSUS. Oh yes, it's 18 volt. It's supposed to be amazing. We've got lots of staples. Let's go and put them in some posts. So I thought as it's a professional machine, we'd be joined with a professional. So we've got Adam here from Kiff Fencing, good friend of mine. He has got the stockade gun and he's been using that now for a while and apparently he quite likes it. Shall we see if we can convince him that he needs a Milwaukee instead? <laughs> Shall we see if this is better than that? I don't know, let's find out. Well, the main difference between this and what most people are already used to on the market is this is just one battery. Your normal M18 battery that you get on the Milwaukee, just clip it in and pretty much off you go. Whereas that one, you've got a battery you put onto it and also you've got to put a gas canister into it. And that's pretty much how most stable guns have been so far. But this one is very different. And the biggest concern everyone's been asking, is it as quick as a gas one? Right, so eight staples each in the same post with the same wire. We're going to see who gets to the bottom. And then we're going to swap guns because he's probably going to be quicker than me at this anyway. And Will's going to count us in. So right, Will, when you're ready. Three, two, one, go. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I hope to turn my gun on, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to have a practice first. We'll do this properly in a minute. <laughs> What's going on now? Oh, you clipped that. Oh, look at this, see? Good job we've got somebody who knows what they're doing here, <laughs> isn't it, eh? Go. Three, two, one, go! I missed the bloody thing. <laughs> I, 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 I sort of failed. You missed. I, I missed one you there missed. and I missed the barbed wire as well. Profit's gone from the job. <laughs> <laughs> All the profit's gone, yeah. <laughs> Right, let's just finish that off. There we go, one there, and one there. And um, yeah, right, let's <laughs> swap over and do another <laughs> two posts. <laughs> right, this time I got the stockade and Ad's got the Milwaukee. So count us in, Will, when you're ready. Three, two, one, go! Did he beat me? Not bad guy. He still beat me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a down to user error. <laughs> Definitely down to user error. <laughs> the Milwaukee M18 fuel utility fencing stapler delivers a completely battery powered solution. Using their nitrogen spring technology, power state brushless motor and red link intelligence. Compatible with all M18 batteries, allowing you to run even more products from the same platform. Using a 3 amp hour high output battery Milwaukee State, you can drive in 600 staples on one charge. With the most notable benefit of not requiring any gas to power this machine. The stapler is compatible with their own design of 9 gauge, 40mm, 45mm and 50mm barbed staples. Can fire up to 2 staples per second, has an LED work light for when working into the night, Changeable belt hook and tool free adjustment. All right, so there's 10 staples into an old post, and we're going to see who gets 10 staples in first <laughs> and go from there to see if it is as good as a gas gun. Right, count us in, Will. Three, two, one, go. Uh, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's about the same, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. How many did you do? One, two, one, two three, three, four, five, six. We went to the same school, so we've got to make sure we can still count. <laughs> <laughs> did you do eleven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I oh, know yours is ten, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Should we see if reverse works? Because yeah. this, this one's got reverse. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this one ain't got reverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll sell millions of them. And if you believe that, you'll believe anything. Right, so to fill it up, you can pull that one back there out of the way. And using 40 mils, because we've got 40 mils and we've got 50 mils. Pop them over the top of there like so, slide them up. Pop that one down over there and slide them up. So it'll fit two magazines, as it were, in each time. Look at the difference in that there, look. It's mad that I can drive in that. You can have your staples and slide them in that way, I guess. That's one way to do it. 
lock that back up again, James. There we go. And they slide up and then you pull your clip and it pulls up nice and tight. Look at that. So one thing Ad did mention is that because it's a little bit more slender than the gas ones, it's not quite so bulky, it's gonna be a lot easier for going in behind posts. So when you've got a turn in your fence back behind, to be able to get in behind the post, it's gonna be a lot, lot easier. But I think one of the most important things about this gun to mention is the depth gauge on your staple. So how far you wanna put your staple into the piece of wood, because it's completely toolless. So all you've got here is this little wheel that you turn. So if you want to drive your staple right the way into your piece of wood, you can. Or if you want to leave it proud, you can. When you're fencing, you you don't want your staple in tight against your wire. For one, it marks the wire and creates corrosion. And secondly, you want your wire to be able to move in between to allow for flex in the wood. And also so that if you ever want to pull it up a little bit tighter again, you've got that availability. So let's say you're putting in mild steel wire and you want the staple to be really proud so it'll still slide through. You can wind that right out and let's pop it in there on that side there and boom. So there we are, you can see it's really proud. You've got about what, a six, seven mil gap in between that, so you've got plenty of slide. And this is on 40 mil staples, so it's only probably in about 30 mil in, in total allowing for the size of the staple. Now if we wind that back a little bit further to roughly where you'd be on like high tensile wire onto there, so you still want to leave it a little bit proud, but you want as much staple in the wood as possible. Pop that one in there. There we go. So you can see you've got about a three mil gap on that there. So it's really easy to see this on here because you've got little white lines and little red lines. So as you wind that up and down, you can see where that depth is. So right, let's wind that right down and send this staple all the way home into the piece of wood. So here we go, bury and it comes. There we go. That 40 mil staple is completely flush to the top piece of that timber. Right, let's try it with 50 mil staples. So the 50 mil staples go in exactly the same. Take the 40s out and put the 50s right in. You haven't got to adjust anything or change anything. It just goes into the same magazine and up. And you know, you can even put the 40s in behind if you wanted to for any reason whatsoever. I don't know why you would want to do that. But anyway, there we go, 50s in. Up that goes, 50 mil staples. This is going to be driving it right home. See if it drives it in the same depth as what it does on the 40 mils. 40 mil for 50 mil in there, proud as much as what the 40 is. That's quite impressive. Right, let's wind it out to the third line as we were on that one so third line there we go on a 50 mil staple and boom there we go i think it's pretty even from that one to that one and then let's pull it right out to see how high we can make a 50 mil staple for those strange jobs where you want it that high but there we go look at that it's about even to the 40 mil so all that's doing is sending the 50 mil in deeper it's not leaving it out any further. So you can go from 40s to 50s on a fence line and you still know exactly how far that staple is going to be in or out. I think that's really, really cool. And obviously, 50 mil staples is fairly impressive for a gun like this. 50 mil staples, wind that right the way out and drive in just 10 staples. Why not? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All flush, all the way in. Uh, I'm not gonna get them back out again, I don't reckon, not of any ease. Anyway, I'm not gonna do that on camera. Let's get back to the fencing. Right, well, I thought I'd better have another go in it, see if I'm any good yet. Adam is obviously, you know, experienced in speaking volumes, but it is such an easy machine to use without a shadow of a doubt. Obviously, with experience, you become quicker. But that is beautiful. It's amazing. Right, hammer versus this. See which is quicker, because I like a hammer test. I actually won a hammering, a hammering competition and ha nailing competition, I'm not sure which is worse, in Germany once, because yeah, I like nailing with a hammer. Three, two, one, go. No, I'm even, I've already missed. I, I'll give you a bit of a head start. You're giving me a head start? Yes. Yeah, it's it's very nice kind of you, dude, I appreciate it. Oh, you got a girt hammer, mate. What are you trying to compensate for? Proper hammer. Proper hammer. I was gonna try to keep them all on the same side of the thing. There we go. Ah. It's been a long time since I've done this. I knew I should have bought me Stanley Hammer. Not this, um, you know. He's still not going to beat me now, surely. Have I done too many? No, I've got the right amount. It's all right. Right. 
Look at that. Yes, I won. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's yeah, pretty much proof in the pudding there. Right, I think it's pretty obvious that the old staple gun was going to beat the hammer. But what's your thoughts? Do you like it? Yeah, it's a good gun. It's, um, yeah, it's definitely, yeah. As fast as a ga your it's, gas one? It's as fast as a gas gun. Good. Um, Doesn't have any gas. I do. <clears throat> so that's a major bonus. I do like the feature on the side for, you know, putting in your depth, your staple depth. It's easy to do. Other ones you say you've got to have a tool for, is that right? Yeah, Allen key, you know, which you don't want to be running back to your truck or anything. Yeah. I suppose the most interesting thing would be to see, does it hold up to the weather conditions? Yeah, definitely, Obviously, yeah. fencing contractors aren't using it in beautiful, nice weather days like today. No, it's just going to be used in all weathers. All weathers. Make sure that that little Hopefully. mechanism doesn't rust up. Yeah, yeah. And that's just with the normal batteries. There's a kit when you buy this. It comes with a high output 3 amp hours, just for weight purposes, probably. But that's with a 4 amp hour battery. And we've done, well, what, 100 staples? Yeah. And it hasn't moved on the bar on the level of the gun, which you wouldn't expect it to, really. So your battery's going to go for a long, long time. Weight-wise, what do you think? Yes, yeah, good weight. It's yeah. Good weight. Um, heavier than the gas one? I'd say it's a little bit heavier than the gas one. Right. But it's a lot more compact. Yeah. Compared to the to the gas gun. Quite like it's even got a hook like a hammer. That. Yeah. Yeah, and I think the reverse function is probably the best bit, isn't it? The reverse function <laughs> is brilliant. <laughs> it's sold. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think if it, you could pull staples out with a, with a <laughs> yeah, Milwaukee, design a machine that pulls staples out with ease. Doesn't matter how long they've been in the post, they are. There's a challenge for you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.